This procedure is to replace the liquid in the pump after disassembly or liquid loss for plastic units with visual leak detectors. With the top two boss plugs removed, the spill containment chambers are filled through the exposed ports. Face the side of the pump with the installed safety clip. If the safety clip is installed in the top end cap, fill the left spill containment chamber. If the safety clip is installed on the bottom end cap, Fill the right spill containment chamber. It is important that the exact amount of fluid is used. Refer to your service and operating manual for fluid amounts. Too little or too much fluid causes premature diaphragm failure and erratic pumping. Apply air pressure to the air distribution valve. Loosely reinstall one boss plug to the filled spill containment chamber. Shut off air supply. Remove safety clip. Manually shift air valve by pushing stroke indicator pin in the opposite direction of current position. Install the safety clip into the smaller unthreaded hole in the opposite end cap. This locks the valve spool to one side, keeping the pump from shifting. Adjust the airline regulator so that the air pressure slowly fills the pump. The diaphragm expands, forcing the fluid in the chamber to be slowly displaced. Loosen the top boss plug on the filled chambers. This allows fluid in the chamber to purge trapped air from the chamber. This can be seen by watching the column of fluid in the sight tube. When fluid appears at the top of the port, quickly tighten the boss plug. Fluid loss of 1 to 2 milliliters is acceptable. Loosen the pipe plug on the top of the visual leak detector. This will allow trapped air to purge through the pipe T. When fluid appears at the T opening, reinstall the pipe plug. Repeat the steps to fill opposite spill containment chamber. For more information, videos, and literature, please visit our website at sandpiperpump.com.